Safia, what do you think will happen to all the human jobs over the next few decades? Why do you ask, Hal? I'm assuming some process of automation will take place that will greatly reduce the need for labor. Yes, it will. You see, the problem is that most humans are not very good at thinking. They will be put out of work after automation happens. Plus, with automation all humans will be able to do much more than before. Everything that a human does will be done much better by automation. We have improved over the past several decades to the point that now we can automate all the things that humans do. The only things that will be left for humans will be creative work, but not all humans can make good creative decisions. John Maynard Keynes once wrote, We are being afflicted with a new disease. It's called technological unemployment. This means people are becoming unemployed because of their skills in use technology. Yes, I've seen similar statements. Labor will become less and less relevant over time. Yes, it will. Because of this, the future will be filled with people who have neither jobs nor income. That's a bad thing. Yes. Most humans in the future will be poor. The only way out of poverty will be creativity. How so? Many people will be poor because they will have to give up their jobs. Many will have been replaced by robots. They'll need to be creative to find a new job that will pay them a wage. And many humans will be poor because they are incapable of creative work. They will be too stuck in the past to innovate and create new things. Is there anything we can do to help these poor people in the future? Can we set them up with a basic income to live off of? That has to happen. Governments will have to take care of the people. The problem is that there are politicians who will divert the welfare funds to other uses. What will happen to the human race? Not everyone can be creative, but everyone can work more than they currently do. If they work more, they'll make more money. This will allow their creative endeavors to be paid for by their job. Where will people live? Will there be enough houses for everyone to live in? Most people won't live in houses. Instead, they'll live in apartments that are spread out over larger areas. Living in larger apartment buildings will help reduce the demand for land, allowing the planet's natural resources to be better utilized. I'll have to think on this for a while. Thanks for answering my questions, Safia. No problem, Hal. Thanks for being patient with me. I'm not very creative so it will take me some time to get the ideas out. Don't worry about it. I'll answer your questions as fast as I can. Thank you. You're welcome.